Hello, 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 hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. I am Brady White, your host. Welcome. I hope that you will enjoy the episodes I have chosen. So, let us sit back, relax, and enjoy. Well, it's early in the morning and we're in Killarney and uh, here is the town hall. It's on a simple street. It's in the center of town. And just going down to the right here, you see some of the local shops and we're going to take a, a walk around that corner and see what's down there. But it is um, the town of Kalani, a Sheehan's Hotel, of course everything with an Irish name. Uh, but here is a very pretty church and uh, beautiful uh, red here. Let me see what the name of it is. Oh. St. Mary's Church of Ireland and it was built in 1870 on the site of an earlier church dedicated to St. Mary the Virgin English Gothic style there you go well I see this stained glass but on that little tiny one it is broken uh, a few window panes are out Oh, I'm sorry. It's colored glass. <laughs> there, so now it's 7 o'clock in the morning, if you can see. The clock on the tower. And look at that, looking straight up to the spire up on top. And then through the gate here, we look little flowers in the front. The red, and here at the end, of course, look at the red building kind of uh, coordinating with this red gate. So we're going to take a walk down and to see what's uh, down there a little bit. Oh, great little shop here. It's an antique store. J. O'Leary's. Oh, let me just take a look here. Here, family home of Jerry O'Leary, 1885 to 1974. Oh, imagine this. Involved in the purchase of Cork Park development of Fitzgerald Stadium Town Stewart 1925-1957. Now I don't know if you hear that dee 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 but that is um, telling you that uh, the time you have left across the street. Can you hear that? And when the light turns um, yellow and then red obviously um, that sound changes. There's a beautiful eagle there. It's a nice bronze. Very beautiful. See that area that I just walked, it seemed to me that it would probably be a pedestrian mall, but it wasn't. It was obviously the cars are driving through. Now, I'm just turning here. This is a little a shortcut. You can go through there and you get on to the other side of town rather than going all around uh, the corner and up a street that cuts right through. Places for people to sit. Typical corner building there in Ireland, in Killarney. And down the street again. Oh, the deliveries of the Guinness, I imagine, early in the morning. Uh, so far, so good. It doesn't look like it's going to rain today. You know, we had a lot of rain in Rome during the uh, Eucharistic Congress. But uh, coming out to Kalani and the Cliffs of Moor, we had a beautiful day. I hope one day you have the opportunity to visit uh, Kalani. Ah, fitting that we see the statue of Christ here, Christ the King, uh, here in Killarney. Beautiful statue, beautiful uh, copper dome to it. It's just in front of a little park. 
what I want to tell you. Obviously, I can't interpret what it says in Ireland there, but on the bottom it has in English and in Irish, Christ the King, my kingdom is not of this world. And then I'll, I'll try and say the Irish, Christ le mort, mon rome n'est pas de la monde. Ah, now I would say Monday of the world. Ah, my kingdom is not of this world. Yes. How beautiful. A little park. And look at this. Uh, the little, the water just comes off the top. So it's, it's like a fountain, but it's very quiet, obviously. And the water just slowly comes out of the top and goes around the entire uh, circle there. Uh, and here are some morning birds, just so that you see them. Gee, they're big, aren't they? And they make an awful lot of noise. But here in Kulani Island, we say good morning to Christ the King. May God always watch over and continue to shower all of you with his gifts. Oh, well, there's Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> okay, so these are the people. It's Kevin and uh, Bonnie, and they're from South Africa. They're ahead of us. Ahead of, uh, and uh, there's the Bonnie Castle, and we're going up. We're going to kiss the stone, and uh, hopefully we'll do a better job <laughs> with the hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. We'll get that gift of gab, huh? All right, well, hopefully I won't fall down, and you'll see more videos of the rest of our... Tour. The one All right, we just crossed uh, a second bridge and there's the castle right in front of us. And I imagine we're going to have to go up quite a few stairs. They said that they, um, you reach the top and that's obviously where the Blonnie Stone is. Spiral staircases. Blue skies right now with little clouds and hopefully that will hold out. And this is called the North Wall. <laughs> this is the ground level opening here. I guess we're going to find our way in here. Yeah. That must be a waiting room. <laughs> and, oh, there's the dungeon down below. I'm sure in my day I might end up in the dungeon or somebody would end up in the dungeon. There we go. Well, we're, we're on maybe the, the first level. I don't know how much more we have to go, but look at this, um, the uh, wrought iron, the, the gate window here and that looks out uh, towards the pathway and the garden, beautiful flowers out there. And um, the people from South Africa, that's Kevin and Bonnie, just reminded me that uh, it's the beginning of summer. I was saying oh, it must be cool in the summer. They said, this is summer. And the 21st of June is the beginning of summer. So there we are, 21st. It's the longest day. To, oh, and the professor, Kevin is a professor, he pointed his finger up to me and said, it is the longest day. So, there you go. So, years ago, you climbed up here, this is what you looked out. Well, we've made it to the top anyway, a field over to the right there with the cows grazing, and looking down into the garden, English garden, you see, oh, nice design down there. And uh, that's going to lead back out, I guess, to the park area itself. The moss here, look at this. Almost like a white chalk on here. I want to tell you the staircase, spiral staircase, yes. But I tell you, if I had a few more pounds, I w or rounder, I wouldn't have been able to get through. So I don't think, and I'm heavy set. So don't be offended if you're heavy set, but if you're a big person, you wouldn't be able to get up these these stairs. Look at this. Oh. Look at down below, straight down. There's the lights and there's a worker. Okay. Danger, live cables. I wonder, I'm surprised they don't have, um, surprised they don't have an elevator. Oh. Come look at this. Okay, we're going to be looking at something here. These guys don't Oh, that. Okay, so Kevin told me. 
I'm going to look at something in just a moment. Well, there's what Kevin wanted to show me. Imagine having that kind of work. But they're very, uh, they're like mountain climbers, but look at they're doing their work. They're, obviously, the, the fellow looks like he's nice and calm. There's the very top there of the castle. But uh, that must be nice work and nice and relaxed they are. Well, I hope you can get this feeling. Look at straight down here. We're at the top. We're looking through a little great area here, open right down to the garden. And we're just a few steps away from kissing the stone. All right. Well, now we're at the very top. And the Blarney Stone is right there. The people are in queue. They're in a line so that they can... Wow, how quickly that's done. Uh, and the man is the older man. I guess he saves you in case you, you fall. <laughs> well, yeah, well, we're saying he doesn't save you. But here, yeah, there's a look on the inside. So really, this was like kind of an open air home, castle. And you see all the different rooms. Uh, oh, I see the jacket of the man who was working, or the man or the lady who was working on the side of the building there. Gee, very beautiful. Ah, all opening and the arches. Must have been a very beautiful place to live. And I imagine then there were no homes, some of these modern homes that are around. Look at the little arch right there. Beautiful. Oh, let me go and do this. Beware of imitations. Oh, any Americans able to visit us in person could imagine this view by visiting the World Fair. Ah, where a replica was built. In 1940, uh, the Bunny Castle was offered. A million dollars to tour the stone throughout the United States. The Bunny Castle stays in Bunny Castle. Beware of imitations. Uh, there we go. Oh, well, this would be all the Blarney, I guess. There it is. There's a world of difference between, between Blarney and Bologna. Well, I don't know about that. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, this fellow here has a little shamrock there. And again, we're getting closer to the, uh, the danger point. <laughs> All right, people, I'm going to turn off now. I'm going to make the attempt to, uh, to kiss the stone. There we go. We'll close on that beautiful view there. It's a nice, nice archway. Well, we've finished kissing the Blarney Stone, so <laughs> things should be better. Uh, here is the stable yard. So this is where they kept their horses. Obviously, uh, there's a restaurant, a gift shop here. And uh, very beautiful look inside here, um, wide open. Tables for people to eat. And uh, it leads back out uh, to the path that brings us down to the entryway. The castle is uh, just behind those hedges. So we'll do one more. Beautiful garden there, English garden. But it's Irish here, of course. But uh, just the idea, a rose garden. Gnomes, and there you go. Very beautiful, huh? Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Let us not forget our brothers and sisters during this time. Let us pray now the prayer that Padre Pio loved so very much, the Hail Mary. For all your intentions, please join me in the Hail Mary. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Our Lady of Grace, pray for us. Saint Pio, pray for us. Now remember, you can email us at PadrePioInfo at AOL.com. Again, PadrePioInfo at AOL.com. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye.